beautiful family welcome back to another interesting video it's good to have you back on my channel today and i'm super excited to show you how to make this lovely kimono and these are the materials you need to make this kimono so you need your pattern paper and some of your working tools you also need um your chiffon i'm using this chiffon it's just one meter of chiffon fabric i just want to have a little touch of black on the kimono and this is my fabric this is two yards of african print and that's what i need for this kimono then i also need a water soluble stabilizer this is three yards of water soluble fabric stabilizer and i'm using this as well to stabilize the fabric while sewing the strips okay first thing we want to do is to draft our pattern just marking half inch from the top of my pattern paper to start with so measure the bust point measure the half length which is 17.5 measure the hip line which is 26 measure the full length of the kimono which is 37.5 just work with your measurements okay so just draw our straight line to mark this point next measure the shoulder then you're going to measure to create your armhole impute a quarter of your bust circumference okay 40 inch you divide that by 4 that's 10 but because it's a kimono we're going to add 0.75 to that because we want it free on the waistline as well our waist circumference is 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches but we're going to add 1 inch to that and bring it to 10 inches we're adding extra inch or half an inch to each of these points because it's a kimono and we want it free so the hip circumference is 44 divided by 4 that's 11 inches we're going to add an extra half inch to that now the full length as well we're going to bring down our 11.5 and connect all these points with your straight line remember to go in by 0.75 to create the front ample and you have to slant your shoulder as well by one inch measure the neck that you want i'm working with four inches width and going with a depth of eight inches So straight away we we'll cut out the pattern. So now we're going to cut on the stabilizers. You only need half inch seam allowance and you don't need to cut the neckline. We just cut it straight. Then after sewing on our strips, then we'll now cut the neckline. to make uh, some vertical and horizontal lines on this material so these are uh, one inch lines on my cutting mat so i'll just use that
Next, we cut some straight pieces of fabric of about 1.5 inch width. Then just cut in continuous length as much as can go round your whole dress. Finish off the neckline, measure some uh, pieces of fabric. It should be long enough to go around the neckline from bottom of the dress. The width of this piece is 3.5 inches. So that by the time you fold, you have 1.75, okay? So, but it must not be same measurements. You can actually work with four inches so that when you fold, you have two inches. This depends on how good you want it to appear on that neckline, okay? So I've just cut continuous length and it's long enough to go around. You can join the fabric if it's not long enough to go around. I went ahead to fuse my interfacing. This interfacing is actually not the fusible one. So I had to just sew it on. Then for the sleeves, we're going to make it two tears. We're going to have uh, two, double flare on the sleeves and you already know our formula for uh, doing the flare okay let me just break it down again because today's flare will be 180 degrees you need to measure your armhole circumference and your elbow circumference now for the armhole circumference is 18 inches what you need to do is to divide 18 inches by 6.28 i explained this when i was doing the 360 degrees flare and we're doing a 180 degrees so we're going to divide by 6.28 times 2 because it's 180 it's not 360 okay. so 18 divided by 6.28 is 2.9 inches so 2.9 times 2 will give you 5.8 inches you can approximate that to be 6 inches so we're going to apply six inches for the radius when cutting our armhole flare and for the elbow the elbow circumference is six, is 12 inches okay and we we'll have to divide 12 inches by 6.28 then multiply by 2 because we're doing a 180 degrees flare as well so 12 divided by 6.28 is 1.9 inches so 1.9 times 2 is 3.8 we'll approximate that to Four inches so we're going to use four inch for the radius when cutting for the elbow flip so now straight away we have to fold our fabric into two because we're making a, a 180 degrees flare so when you fold into two you go ahead and mark your radius for the armhole now for the armhole we said we would do four inches for the radius so measure four inches so we're going to use this same pattern for both flare. So after marking the four inches, we'll go ahead and mark the six inches as well, which is the one for our armhole flare. So the length of the sleeve will be 14 inches, okay, of both sleeves. So we're going to mark our 14 inches here. We mark it all around and we connect our dots now when you're coming towards the bottom of the sleeve we're going to mark 10 inches because we don't want it uh, wide as wide as the top one finish that we're going to cut the six inch point then when we place that on our flare we're going to add two inches on all around the flare when cutting the second one so that's our elbow flare and this is for the armhole flare with our two inch extension all round okay so now for the main sleeve i've gone ahead to cut the main sleeves as well what i simply did was just to place my basic sleeve pattern on the fabric and i just cut the sleeve straight away the link to the basic sleeve pattern will be in description if you would like to know how to draft the pattern so spread out this material then we're going to uh, sew this on it so what we'll do is we fold it this way fold that way 
then you fold again on the other side then you're going to fold at the middle like that okay so when you do that you now place it on these lines you marked just place them from end to end and you're going to sew on the strips vertically and horizontally so you go first you sew them vertically from end to end then you now place the same strips and sew them horizontally just sew on those lines you marked I have now prepared the bodies and this is what it looks like now I had to sew the black one from the other side because I want this other African print fabric to run on the black so to finish off the body's cutting you remember we didn't cut the neckline the little modification I did on this neckline is I had to extend my V further down because I want um, you know we said we want a little touch of black so what I simply did was I measured from my waistline two inches upwards then I had to start the V from there but it's not a, a deep V kind of it was just slightly curved into our initial V that we have here so we had a V here so what I did was from that V I measured about um, 1.75 inches inwards then I now made my two inch measurement from from the bottom then I now um, slanted that slightly with my curved ruler I just curved it slightly all the way to the neckline so we don't need to cut anything on the back pattern it's already done all we need to do is the neckline now the neckline I had to go ahead to measure 1.5 inch depth from the uh, shoulder line downwards then you just make your curve and cut out the back neckline that's all for the back then for the front we'll extend our armhole then we'll now cut the neckline First, sew up your shoulders then you sew the side seams just place them together like that you're going to sew on the right side okay not on the wrong side like every other dress so you're sewing from the right side you sew the side seam and join the shoulders when you've done that you're not going to spread out your jacket when you spread it out you trim out the excesses you have on the seam line just trim it closest to the seam then you cut one inch straight uh, strips of fabric like that then you fold fold your strips that way okay spread it like that then you're going to place it on that 
seam line okay i've just finished off the side seam and the shoulder line as you can see so i have to conceal the seams with the extra strip the one inch strip so what we need to do now fix the black one on around the neckline So now let's prepare the sleeves. Before we go on, I just want to use this opportunity to say thank you for staying tuned up till this time. That means the video was interesting. Please, can you just click on that like button just to encourage me to make more videos? And I have over 100 videos on this channel. If you can just find time to watch some of my videos, it will also be appreciated. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. And there's a notification bell beside the subscribe button tap on it so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified thank you so much and i really appreciate your support so, um, just spread out your main sleeve that is from the basic sleeve pattern when you do that you're going to follow the um, grain line this the first piece which is the armhole piece you're going to align it okay align it on that end and wherever it stops you measure six inches upwards okay so when you measure six inches you mark that then you connect with a straight line to both ends then you're going to also pick up the second one which is the one for the elbow circumference now from that point you're going to align the edge of the second one as well where the first one stops you align that then from the bottom you measure six inches also and mark that on this point then you're going to also draw a straight line to connect both ends the right side of your main sleeve to the wrong the right side of your flare okay so the two right sides will face each other then you pin that in place here when you pick that then you pleat you're going to pleat along that line you marked okay place the other side as well okay then you're going to sew at that top so i have now uh, sewn the pleats in place okay so after that the next will be to turn this upward so when you flip it up you're going to pin the midpoint to your midpoint of the main sleeve then you flatten that out and pin the 
other end as well which is the armhole flare then we place that at the middle align the midpoint and pin it in place then when you've done that you're going to also pleat this one just the same way we did the first pleat so you pleat that way So from that end, you pleat and pleat. Until you get to the other end. After sewing the top slip flare, you now flip it over again and align the armhole of your main sleeve to that of the flare. Then you're going to pin them in place and spread this out. Okay, spread that that way. Then you do the second side as well and you make a top stitch. Then after that, you will turn your main slip up. Turn it up that way and you're going to align those two edges and sew okay you may need to hem your sleeves first before sewing the last bit so that you will not struggle to hem the sleeves Now sewn the sleeves and this is what they look like. Finally, we'll soak this um, kimono in water just to dissolve out the stabilizers from the body. And to finish off now, just on the ample, you're going to trim out the excesses you have. Then you cut your strip, one inch strip of fabric again and lay it to conceal this seam. You can also overlock or tuck it in the sleeves and do a top stitch. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate your time. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. I upload sewing tutorials and DIY videos on this channel every week. And you don't want to miss any of those. Kindly have a look at my other videos and give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions or suggestions and I'll be happy to respond as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.